Bored in the house, bored in the house, bored, bored in the house, bored in the house, bored. I'm bored in the mug, in the house, bored, and I'm bored in the mug, in the house, bored. Hi, lifestyle lovers, welcome back to my channel. This video is going to be a quarantine tag video. I was tagged by the beautiful Trevina at TMB Designs to do the quarantine tag question challenge. I guess that's what it's called. So I have a series of questions that I have to answer. Most of them are related to, you know, the quarantine, which is pretty much everybody, the entire world has been going through. I thought it would be really, really fun to participate in this tag. And it kind of give, gives us a break from the normal content that we've been seeing here on YouTube, such as the clean with me's and the cook with me's. I know a lot of us have been doing that. I have to not recording it every single time because that's pretty much all we can do because we're in the house all the time so if you see me looking down at my phone then i'm looking down at the questions that i have been given to answer for the quarantine tag okay the first question is did you prepare for the quarantine or did you wait until the last minute um i will say partly prepare partly waiting until the last minute i always buy cleaning supplies so i was pretty much stocked up on lysol I had a can in pretty much every one of my bathrooms because I typically spray the bathroom down once I'm done cleaning. And I had toilet tissue and all, all of that stuff. But when I started seeing the shelves go bare and everybody running out to buy all of these things, then I started to kind of panic and thought that maybe I should stock up so i guess that's probably where the last minute came in because by the time i did decide okay well let me go stock up on this stuff it, it was gone but um luckily i have not ran out of anything i am fully stocked up on lysol fully stocked up on bleach cleaner at beach toilet paper uh paper towels all of those things um i have a group uh, chat with my girlfriends and anytime we see something in a store we always you know kind of reach out to each other as well as Monday through Friday I have a, a morning conference call with uh, my work team and one of the first questions that they ask everyone who's a part of the team in my department is are they stocked up on supplies and if someone is lacking or missing anything um we work as a team to try to get those things so you know thankfully i am fully stocked and i'm not lacking anything currently so question number two are you secretly happy you're home or are you miserable and can't wait to go outside um that's kind of half and half i am a homebody um so I, I love being home you know i love my home but um you know i have my days it it I, I don't think i'm miserable or miserable about going outside i think it it's probably more affecting me as to what happened when i go outside if i just make a store run i am the head of my household so if i go anytime i leave the house to go to walmart Publix, wherever it is i'm putting myself at risk so i think that's probably more where the misery comes in at um, just knowing every time I leave the house and I have to leave the house uh, that I'm putting myself at risk and I could potentially bring COVID back home, you know, to my son. So uh, the misery is just not being able to go outside. I, I just think it's all of the things that's tied to not being able to go outside, you know. But at the same time, I you know, I, I, I do enjoy being home, just not all the time. Question number three, who was the last person you checked in on during this quarantine? Um, I haven't talked to anyone today. I haven't spoken to anyone today. Uh, but the last person I talked to before I went to bed last night was my sister. So uh, me and her check in at least once a week. I do talk to my daughter and my grandson every day. So I'm checking in with them probably more than anyone. I talk to my dad a few times a week. And um me and my girlfriends through the group chat we converse at least once a week number four how do you normally spend your day during this quarantine <laughs> i normally spend my day monday through friday working 
I am working from home. Um, so I'm pretty much tied to the computer probably for nine to 10 hours a day. That's why I truly, truly value my weekends. Um, so that's what I do most of the day when I do finally log off from work. I pretty much kind of unwind, you know, get me and my son something to eat, maybe work on some projects if I feel like it. But for the most part, I'm working all day, Monday through Friday. I'm pretty much uh, tied to the computer. I'm actually uh, on call, although I don't get calls over the weekend, but work is constantly coming in over the weekend um and i have the option i can log on and tackle some things and check some emails but i don't once i log off on friday i'm done and then i'll tackle it again when monday comes the next question is who are you quarantined with baby that's my business no. <laughs> Seriously, just me and my son, um, and you know, he's homeschooling. He's uh, in the fifth grade, going to the sixth grade. So he was uh, promoted. He's going to middle school next year. So just me and my son, he's downstairs doing his work and I'm upstairs doing mine. So just me and my son, most of the time anyway. Uh, so let's see. <laughs> What's next? How many hours per day are you asleep? Wait a minute, no. Have you been outside how many times? Yes, I have been outside. As I stated, I am the head of my household. Um, there may be two or three days that pass when I don't leave the house, but when I do have to go to get things to eat, mostly, um, I do have to leave the house. I have to go to the grocery store. That's pretty much it. Maybe Walmart for some things, household things. Um, I don't know how many times. A couple of times a week maybe you know if I can go two or three days I will stay in but I do have to leave the house you know I just it's just I it's unavoidable I have done contactless delivery um, for some things such as, such as Publix you know getting pizza and stuff like that but I have to leave the house and a few times a week um, how many hours per day are you sleeping uh I'm sleeping regular hours that I normally sleep before quarantine. Sometimes I will take a nap after I've logged off for work if I'm extremely exhausted. Um, but for the most part, I go to bed pretty much the same time. Sometimes I may stay up a little later if I'm watching a good movie, but I'm sleeping eight to 10 hours a day, just like I normally would before quarantine. Um, my day pretty much starts at 7.30 and work day starts at 7 30 and it ends probably anywhere between four and five o'clock what is your favorite food to snack on during the quarantine i'm not a real big snacker um i guess oreos and ice cream but i eat those without being quarantined i love double stuffed oreos and bluebell ice cream so i like to take the oreos and take the spoon and crunch it up <laughs> in the bowl uh so i guess you know i've been snacking you know i'm not a big snacker but i guess i've been snacking on that during quarantine even before quarantine but that's that's my favorite snack oreos and blue bell ice cream what have you been watching everything uh youtube i've been watching movies uh insecure is back i love that show with Issa ray uh, on HBO. What else have I been watching? That's it. Just movies. Hulu. Hulu. Uh, Netflix. Amazon Prime. That's it. You know. I think I've probably been watching more movies during the week. Which I, movie time is typically on the weekend for me. But I've been watching more of them during the week. Um... Okay, that was question number nine. And the last question, how much toilet tissue did you buy? Now, I told you guys at the beginning of this quarantine questionnaire that I was stocked up on everything. So, do you really want to see how much toilet tissue I bought? How much toilet tissue do, do I have?
45 rolls. <laughs> 45 rolls of toilet tissue. And remind you, I told you guys, there's only two butts in this house. So I'm good on toilet tissue. I think I will be probably for quite some time. I'm sure through the summertime. So yeah, I have a ton of toilet tissue. Pretty much all of the questions for the quarantine tag. I wanna thank you Trevina for tagging me and being able to participate. I think that um, depending on where you are, for some particular states, the quarantine is pretty much starting to come to an end. Um, I will say this, uh, there is a lot that they still don't know about this virus. So if you can help it, I would continue to stay quarantined for as long as you can. I think when I woke up and watched the news this morning, now there are new symptoms that they did not have previously so that pretty much tells you that information and things are steadily evolving with this virus so you know just continue to use um, precaution even if you're in a state where there are now opening back up businesses i'm not going to tag anyone but if you are a creator and you would like to participate in the quarantine tag, then consider yourself tagged. I will list the questions below if you would like to participate. Other than that, everyone continue to stay safe. If you want to share an experience that you've had during the quarantine, feel free to comment below. Other than that, I'll see you on the next one. Bored in the house and I'm in the house bored. Bored in the house and I'm in the house bored. Board in the mug, in the house board, and a board in the mug, and in the house board. Board in the house board, in the house board. Board in the house board, in the house board. A board in the mug, in the house board, and a board in the mug, in the house board.